we all know that SpaceX successfully achieved many accomplishments in a very short period of time. It, in turn, created the world's first reusable rockets, which we have to mention like Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and soon the biggest rocket on the planet, Starship. However, they're not going to stop there. They're working on methods to reuse some parts in the Dragon spacecraft. Besides that, SpaceX is also accelerating the production of its spacecraft, the Starship. This is such great news for the rocket manufacturing industry, and SpaceX is establishing itself as a dominant force as we enter the new era of commercial spaceflight. On October 6th, comments from NASA and SpaceX officials during a briefing ahead of Crew Dragon's third operational astronaut launch have offered a more detailed picture of the fleet of reusable Dragon spacecraft the company plans to build and cycle to support NASA missions. So in today's episode, let's find out a little more about this fleet of Dragon spacecraft. First of all, what is SpaceX's plan for the Dragon spacecraft? The Dragon is responsible for performing crew and cargo carrying missions to the International Space Station, and it features a single-use heat shield developed by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, otherwise known as NASA and customized by SpaceX for the spacecraft. The company plans to fly its third official astronaut mission to the ISS later this month. And during a mission overview press conference, SpaceX's Director Dragon Mission Management, Miss Sarah Walker, outlined that her company had reused a portion of the heat shield in an earlier NASA mission and that it was evaluating full heat shield reuse. When asked about her company's plans for reusing the Dragon spacecraft's heat shield, the SpaceX executive explained that her company thinks of the component as having two parts. One of these is the tiles placed at the bottom of the spacecraft for its atmospheric re-entry, and the second is the back shell. The back shell is the part of the Dragon capsule that lies between its nose cone and the heat shield, and it also houses the spacecraft's thrusters for the in-flight abort emergency escape system. The thermal protection tiles mentioned are Phenolic Impregnated Carbon Ablator, or PICA-X, tiles, a spin-off from a NASA technology developed in the 1990s. Their precise thickness is unknown, but unconfirmed estimates made before the current second-generation Dragon 2 spacecraft came into service have suggested a thickness of 8 centimeters, with two being consumed during re-entry and the remaining necessary to form a layer between the main structure and the Pika tiles. For the back shell, SpaceX uses the SpaceX proprietary ablative material, or SPAM, for thermal protection. And there is speculation that the Dragon 2 uses an advanced version of this material. Additionally, as SpaceX continues to manufacture new Dragon capsules, the company may have further refined the Pika X, which was originally developed in the early stages of the Dragon program. The Dragon's heat shield also became a hot topic after the return of SpaceX's first crewed ISS mission, DM-2, revealed that the spacecraft had suffered from unforeseen heat shield damage. During the press conference, Ms. Walker, NASA, and ESA officials outlined details about the upcoming Crew-3 mission to the ISS. This mission will ferry four astronauts to the Orbiting Space Laboratory, marking the second U.S. astronaut launch this year. So what will be expected of the Crew-3 mission? The Crew-3 mission will debut a new Crew Dragon capsule likely C-210, which will be carried into space on top of once of a once-flown Falcon 9 booster, B-1067. B-1067 debuted on June 3rd of 2021, sending SpaceX's second upgraded Cargo Dragon spacecraft on its way to the International Space Station before returning to Earth and sticking a landing on drone ship Of Course I Still Love You. While far from breaking SpaceX's own turnaround records, B-1067's Crew-3 launch will be the second time NASA has flown astronauts on a flight-proven commercial rocket. SpaceX flew NASA astronauts on a flight-proven booster, Falcon 9 B-1062, for the first time in April of 2021 as part of Crew-2, Dragon's second operational crew launch and first crew rotation. 
Five months later, SpaceX launched the world's first all-private group of astronauts as part of a primarily philanthropic mission known as Inspiration4. Once again, a flight-proven booster launched an orbit-proven Crew Dragon capsule carrying four astronauts, pushing human-rated reusability even further with the first use of a twice-flown Falcon 9 on a crewed mission. Steve Stitch, the program manager for NASA's Commercial Crew Program, says for the upcoming Crew 3 mission, this is the first time Crew Dragon is flying with a reused nose cone. Stitch also says the agency received great data from the private Inspiration4 mission. NASA was especially interested in getting information about re-entry performance of the vehicle and its parachutes coming back from a higher altitude. Crew-3 will thus continue the brand new trend of launching professional NASA and international astronauts on flight-proven SpaceX rockets, scheduled to lift off no earlier than 2.43 a.m. EDT or 6.43 UTC on Saturday, October 30th. A successful launch will mean that SpaceX has launched more crewed Dragons on flight-proven Falcon 9s than on new boosters. So what is Crew Dragon's next move? While Crew-3 won't be the third crewed launch of a flight-proven Dragon, it will still play an important part of debuting a new vehicle as SpaceX works to assemble a fleet of reusable orbital spacecraft. The spacecraft, likely Dragon 2 Capsule Number 10 or C-210, will be the third Crew Dragon to join SpaceX's fleet of two operational crew capsules which currently includes C-206 Endeavour and C-207 Resilience. SpaceX's Sarah Walker further confirmed that Crew-4, recently scheduled to launch in April of 2022, will also debut a new Crew Dragon capsule, growing the company's Crew Capsule fleet to four vehicles by mid-2022. On the uncrewed side of things, SpaceX will debut another two new Cargo Dragon 2 spacecraft on its CRS-24 and 25 missions in December of 2021 and May of 2022, raising the company's uncrewed Dragon fleet to four capsules strong. As long as the ISS remains operational, SpaceX will likely continue to deliver cargo biannually, requiring around 12 to 18 more Cargo Dragon launches between now and 2030. It's possible that Starship will quickly replace Dragon as soon as it's operational and NASA certified for routine crew and cargo missions, but that milestone is several years away at best, likely ensuring that Dragon will continue to operate for at least the next 5 to 10 years. In the meantime, SpaceX's fleet of reusable Dragon spacecraft looks set to double from 4 to 8 capsules in the next 8 months. And that's all the information we have for you today. If you like what my team and I are doing and would like to help assist us with a slight nudge, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Don't forget to share your ideas in the comments so we know where to improve upon. Everyone's support will be the motivation for us to create more quality content. Otherwise, thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to hit the bell so you never miss out on future episodes of Great SpaceX. As always, this is Kevin, and I'll be seeing you next time.